So, uh, where did I go? Okay, does Evernote have their USB cable? Yes. Evernote is their, their AT Mega. Yes. Evernote is the capacitor. Ours look different. Um, Evernote is the diode. Diodes, two diodes. They're reddish. Yeah. Everyone has the two 68 ohm resistors. Everyone has the 1K7 ohm resistor. Yeah. Everyone has a switch. I think I dropped something. Okay. What do you need? The two resistors. Okay, I'll get it for you. This is why we do this. What did she need? The two, two resistors. resistors. I definitely had them. Okay, try and find them because we probably only have just enough. Oh, wait, no, found them. Oh, found them? Okay. Good. Okay, we're going to make this, but we're not going to look there because it looks really bad on the projector, so we'll go and look at the schematic. I'll walk you through making this. Um, this will stay on your breadboard for a long time. Feel free to use your newly acquired jumpers. Make it super, make it as neat as you can. If you have wire clippers, clip things down so they're like super neat. No, that's also okay. Try not to have like the wires touch each other. No touching. That's bad. General. Okay. Um, Mark's gonna grab some wire snippers so that we can snip things later and make them a little neater. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you grab your your chip. Everyone should be sort of following along because then it'll be easier and you won't be confused. And I want to like figure out what's wrong with everyone's. So everyone can grab this thing, black box. There's a little like notch at the, at the on one end of it. That is the top. The pin to the left of that is pin one. It's looking at. Everyone grab that. Put it on like. Row five of your breadboard. It's like a five. That's where pin one should go. So it should now look something like this. Um, I would try and do some nonsense with my webcam, but who knows? It's Linux. Maybe we can. Jump the different sides of the boards together, the power buses. 
Um, all you have to do is at the bottom, so the red one goes to the red one, the blue one goes to the blue one. This is going to be the value of power on both sides of the board. Yeah. Red to the red. The red ones are pretty good for this. They don't fit perfectly, but uh, they're like the best ones. Really. It might be better. So it might be better to bend them and just have those the bottom rows, because that way you like save this part of your board for doing whatever you want to do. <coughs> okay. So did everyone jump these things across? Red goes to red. Blue goes to blue. Thumbs up, everyone. Thumbs down. Okay, you should rectify that. Do you have a question? It's not there. That's bad. It should be there. Uh, actually, make <coughs> sure it's actually gone. If not, then um. Mark, can we get another chip? Uh, charcoal pass around some cutter stepper things. Guys, your money. It's not super critical, but you probably want it. Uh, if anyone, is anyone having any like problems, anything yet? No? Yeah, they're there. So did everyone, okay, clippers are coming around. So we have the jumpers in, we have the chip in, right? The next thing we'll want to do is connect power and ground to the chip so that like, they can turn on. Um, so there are five places this happens, okay? Pin seven and eight. Eight goes to ground, seven goes to power. Pins 22 and 20 go to power, pin 22 goes to ground. Be careful. So it's super good to jump these together and you just have one wire going to power. But be careful not to jump these two together because then you're going to see for a turn off. And a terrible smell will happen. This happened last night, yes. You have two LEDs? Two LEDs. Don't worry. All will be done for you. Just go ahead and put it in. I have the extra tube that I can have, so that will be good. Okay. Everyone have this jumped across? Everyone have the chip in? Okay. Did everyone do power yet? No. Do the power. And if you need help, um, ask me, ask Mark, Mark, probably all of you, ask your neighbor. Um, uh, I'll put up some, maybe a helpful note.